Today we're going to do section 3.7, implicit differentiation. Let's look at example 1a. Consider the equation x squared plus y squared equals 9. How would you find the slope of the tangent at x equals 2? Well, first, we would have to go ahead and solve for y. And we would have y equals plus or minus the square root of 9 minus x squared, which we know that equals plus or minus 9 minus x squared all to the 1 half power. If I want to find the slope of the tangent at 2, I need to first find dy dx. And to do that, I would have plus or minus 1 half, because we bring that power to the front, times 9 minus x squared to the negative 1 half, times the derivative of the inside, which is negative 2x. Simplifying this, I would have my 2s would cancel out. Um, I'd still have plus or minus, because that negative would cancel out with the negative, but it would make that negative. And I can move that to the denominator. So I would have plus or minus x over the square root of 9 minus x squared. If I want my slope at x equals 2, I then need to plug in. So I'd have m equals plus or minus um, 2 all over the square root of 9 minus 2 squared. And that would equal plus or minus 2 over the square root of 5. So this is one way that you could find the slope of the tangent line at x equals 2 when you have two variables in, involved in your original equation. We're going to look at the same problem, x squared plus y squared equals 9, but we're going to use implicit differentiation to find the slope of the tangent at x equals 2. So what implicit differentiation means, we're going to take the derivative with respect to a certain variable. And for all of these problems, unless otherwise stated, we're going to take it with respect to x. So if I'm taking the derivative of something not x, because it's not with respect to x, I need to use the chain rule and state that I took the derivative of some variable with respect to x. So let's go ahead and do this problem. So the derivative of x squared is 2x plus the derivative of y squared would be 2y. But since I'm taking the derivative with respect to x, I need to state I took the derivative of y with respect to x equals the derivative of 9 is 0. Then what I need to do is I need to isolate dy dx. So to do that, I'd first subtract 2x from both sides. So I'd have 2y dy dx equals negative 2x. Then I would divide both sides by 2y and I get dy dx equals negative 2x over 2y or negative x over y. If I want to find the slope at x equals 2, I would be finding m at x equals 2. So m would be negative 2. And then I would have to find y. And how I'd find y is I'd plug it back into my original equation. So if I would have 2 squared plus y squared equals 9, I would have y squared equals 5, or y equals plus or minus um, the square root of 5. So then here I would have plus or minus the square root of 5. So this would just be plus or minus 2 over the square root of 5. So let's look at example two. Find dy dx if 3y squared plus 2y equals 5x implicitly. So we need to take the derivative with respect to x. Okay, so it's telling us there. So anytime we take the derivative of something without respect to, with, that's not an x, we need to state that using the chain rule. So the derivative of 3y squared would be 6y dy dx plus the derivative of 2y would be 2 dy dx equals 5, because the derivative of 5x is 5, and it's already in terms of x. Now here we have two dy dx's, unlike the last one where we had one. So we need to factor. So I would factor out my dy dx, and I'd be left with 6y plus 2 equals 5. 
Now I need to isolate that dy dx, so I divide by 6y plus 2. And I just found the derivative implicitly. So this is the process for implicit differentiation. One, differentiate both sides of the equation with respect to x. Two, collect the terms with dy dx on one side of the equation. Three, factor out that dy dx. Four, solve for dy dx. Let's go ahead and look at example three. Find the equations of the tangent and normal lines to the graph given by x to the fourth plus x squared y squared minus y squared equals zero at the point square root of two over two, square root of two over two. So something that I noticed right away is this point is the same as one over the square root of two, one over the square root of two. So that might be helpful when doing this problem since I have so many squares there, it might be easier. Um, so if I need to find the equations of the tangent and normal lines, I need my derivative in order to find the slope of that tangent line in order to get the slope of the normal line. So I need to take the derivative of this implicitly. So the derivative of x to the fourth is 4x cubed plus the derivative of x squared y squared. I need to use the product rule. So it would be x squared times 2y dy dx I need to state that I took the derivative of y with respect to x plus y squared times 2x minus 2y dy dx equals 0. Now I need to isolate my two terms that have dy dx on the left side and the other terms on the other side. So let's first move 4x cubed and y squared times 2x to the other side. So it would be minus 4x cubed minus 2xy squared. And on the left side, I would have 2x squared y dy dx minus 2y dy dx. Then I need to factor out just my dy dx because that's what I want to isolate to get my derivative with respect to x. So I'm going to factor out a dy dx from both terms and I'm left with 2x squared y minus 2y equals negative 4x cubed minus 2xy squared. Now I need to isolate that dy dx so I would divide by 2x squared y minus 2y and I would get dy dx equals negative 4x cubed minus 2xy squared all over 2x squared y minus 2y. Going through and simplifying this by factoring out x's and y's in common terms, this simplifies to negative 3x squared all over x squared minus 1. So I need to find the equation of the tangent and normal line at that point um, 1 over the square root of 2. So I have my point 1 over the square root of 2, 1 over the square root of 2. So I need to find for my tangent slope, I need to find m at that point. So m would be negative 3 times 1 over the square root of 2 squared. all over 1 over the square root of 2 squared minus 1. This ends up being negative 3 times 1 half all over 1 half minus 1. And that would be negative 3 halves divided by negative 1 half, which gives me 3. So this is my tangent line slope. And my normal slope would be the negative reciprocal, so keep that in mind. So my tangent line would be y minus 
the square root of 2 over 2 equals 3 times x minus the square root of 2 over 2. My normal line would be y minus the square root of 2 over 2 equals negative 1 third x minus the square root of 2 over 2. So here's a quick quiz for this section. Which of the following gives dy dx at x equals 1 if x cubed plus 2xy equals 9? So take a minute and try to figure this out. Hopefully you realized you have x, you needed to find y, and you found y to be 4. And when you went through and actually found the answer, the answer should have been e negative 11 halves. In the last example for 3, 7, use an implicit differentiation. Find the second derivative if x squared plus y squared equals 25. So you need to remember that x squared plus y squared equals 25. We already found dy dx for that earlier in this lesson because that was from example 1b. So we already found dy dx to be negative x over y. If I want to find the second derivative, I would just take the derivative of this. So I will have to use the um, quotient rule. So it would be the denominator times the derivative of the numerator minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator all over my denominator squared. And don't forget, since I took the derivative of 1 here, you need to multiply by dy dx. State in that you took the derivative of y with respect to x. Simplifying this, this is negative y plus x dy dx all over y squared. Let's get this in terms of x and y for everything. So dy dx we know is negative x over y. So we'll go up over here negative y plus x times negative x over y all over y squared. And then multiplying this through and getting the common denominator, I'd have negative y minus x squared all over y all divided by y squared. And then this would become, and noticing that I have a negative in here, I can factor that out and get negative y squared plus x squared all over y cubed. And then from the very beginning of this problem, x squared plus y squared equals 25. So my final answer would be negative 25 over y cubed.